state wildlife biologists face a moose management dilemma. We have all these sources of information, but they don't all agree. And which ones do you trust and why? Biologists rely on population trends in determining moose hunting seasons. Biologists monitor these trends through annual aerial surveys, where they count and classify each moose. And hunter harvest surveys, which use information from hunters in the field. But sometimes, these two methods provide contradicting information. I'll come back from a great classification survey and find another 40 moose and then hear from another hunter that they had a really tough time finding their target again this year. Now, an ongoing moose research project is hoping to verify these moose monitoring methods. We're trying to take all those different pieces of data we collect and sort of calibrate them together to really provide some information about how well they the information kind of line up. Because of the cost, not all moose populations are counted from the air. But hunter harvest data is readily available. So verifying the methods will help wildlife managers be more confident in their season settings in the future. We can take some of the data that the biologists have already collected and basically ask some of those questions already of, well, how well do these hunter statistics tell us what we're seeing when we're going out and flying for them? Researchers hope to have an answer to this dilemma in the next couple of years, which for local biologists won't come a moment too soon. I'm Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.